Well, there are shocking new claims tonight at 6. Prosecutors say the father of a missing Georgia boy was training children to become school shooters. All of this happening on a makeshift compound in the New Mexico desert, where just last weekend, deputies rescued 11 starving children. These new developments come as police try to determine whether remains found at that compound belong to the suspect's four-year-old son, Abdul Ghani Wahaj, allegedly kidnapped from Clayton County. Tonight, Siraj Wahaj sits in jail in New Mexico. Now, the investigation that started here in Metro Atlanta led to a raid on that compound. Back in December, Clayton County deputies say Wahaj picked up his son for a trip to the park, but then never came back. Law enforcement tracked Wahaj to New Mexico and found him, along with the 11 children, another man and three women at the compound. And this just in, we're getting our first look at Wahaj, who appeared in a New Mexico courtroom today. Along with those three women and the other man, Lucas Morton, Wahaj did not enter a plea on the child abuse charges. The others pleaded not guilty to charges against them. Fox 5's Angelique Proctor is at the live desk with this developing story. And Angelique, court documents say Wahaj was training those children to use assault rifles to kill. Yes, and the details are really mind-boggling in this case. Many people just can't imagine anyone teaching innocent children how to kill in our schools. It's a very strange case. The disappearance of four-year-old Abdul Ghani Wahaj has taken another dark turn. New Mexico officials have released new allegations that suspect Siraj Wahaj was training innocent children to become school shooters at this remote compound. The revelation comes from court documents that say Wahaj conducted weapons training with assault rifles at the compound near the Colorado border, where deputies found 11 hungry children in disgusting conditions. Conditions. The children range from 1 to 15 years old. Authorities are still reeling after Monday's gruesome discovery as well. We did find remains of a young boy. Um, those have been turned over to the Office of Medical Investigations. Uh, no positive identification of that child has been made at this time. Wednesday in New Mexico, prosecutors asked that Wahaj be held without bond and called him a great danger to the children and the community. Lucas Morton, a co-defendant, and the three women arrested all waived the reading of charges and opted for a probable cause hearing. Clayton County Police have searched for Wahaj's son for months to no avail. They, along with the boy's mother, who has moved to DeKalb County from Clayton County since his disappearance, hope the remains are not those of little A.G. Wahaj. We're hoping that the body that was found on the compound is not the missing child that we have here in Clayton County. We're waiting on um, medical reports, a medical exam from the medical examiner out there. Now prosecutors ask that Wahaj be held in custody until his trial, an indication no doubt of just how dangerous they think he is. From the live desk, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. All right, Angelique.